Today I'd like to share with you my favorite recipe for homemade granola. I love granola. I used to be a cereal junkie, but several years ago I stopped actually eating so much sugar, especially white processed sugar. So I want to share my recipe with you. I've had lots of trial and error because it just never turned out chunky enough and I love the big clusters. I've had the best result trying this coconut granola and my secret is mixing in a little bit of coconut flour. So let me show you how I do it. So first I melt down some butter and I love to mix in butter with coconut oil. And you can decide for yourself what the ratio is. I find that the coconut oil kind of gives us this kind of very special crunch to it. And after they have melted down, I'm adding some maple syrup. And then I also add some salt. It does always taste so much better to add some salt to something that is sweet. And I also add just a little bit of vanilla. I mix together all the dry ingredients. So just rolled oats, old fashioned oats, whatever you have. Um, and then I mix in the coconut flakes. I love the coconut flakes because they give it more texture and you can actually see the toasted coconut when it's done. I just love the crunch of it. And then I also add some coconut flour and I find that it really helps just make it stick together more to form those clusters. And then all I do is mix the liquid ingredients in there, mix it really good and then just spread it out on a baking sheet and make sure it's lined with baking paper. You don't want it to stick and then just bake it for about 20 minutes or so. Just keep an eye on it. You don't want it to get too dark. It needs to be just lightly browned, slightly golden and then when the edges start to brown just a little bit, that's when I take it out and you do not want to touch it. That's the secret. Do not touch, do not mix, do not stir around. Just take it out like when you bake cookies. They come out real soft and squishy in the beginning, but when you let them cool, that's when they harden and that's what happens here. Let it cool completely and then what you get is those wonderful big clusters that you can then just fill in the jar and you even have to break it up because it's just so clustery. I love that for breakfast when I need a quick breakfast and I hope you're gonna try it out and enjoy. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe if you like the video, like it, and I will see you soon.